If you think about, you know, for classical players, you sit in front of a, uh, an or, an, a conductor, and, and every great conductor has an ictus to when they conduct, so you can always tell where the, the, the beat is. Sometimes you can't, but always you can at least try to tell where that ictus is. Well, as a, as a player, we want to, for jazz, we want to start to get an ictus to our attack. We want to get a, a, a presence to the front of attack that's going to let us know where that attack is. It's like for a bass player and drummer. Bass player wants to get a good ictus on their attack when they play the note so that the drummer knows exactly where to place you know, his or her beat. So if the bass player has a good ictus, drummer has a good ictus, they can find a place to make a pocket. Where as a, as a trumpeter, we want to have an ictus, we want to have a pop. So the front of the attack is what we want to pop on. And for the most part, most part, you know, except for, for flow on a line, we can stop the end of our attacks. But again, with these flow studies that I spoke about, the flow studies provide a flow through my line. It provides air through my line. It provides motion through my line. So these are some things that classical players that are already doing that you can incorporate in jazz.